Just joined us. We're talking to Common. He's got this uh, great show coming up tonight. Let Love Tour, Newport Hyatt Regency. Special guest, Nicole Buss in the house. And uh, with all those titles that I just mentioned, when I said that uh, uh, Grammy Academy Award winner, philanthropist, activist, writer, producer, with all those titles, is there a lot of responsibility on you? I do is that feel, too heavy I, for you or what? I feel the, the responsibility, I feel the duty as a child of God to do things that I'm purposed to do. And that's who I feel most, you know, committed and dedicated and feel like that's what I need to fulfill. Like, otherwise, I love what I do. So it's like, like to be able to come. I can look at you and tell that, yeah, man. You yeah. got this, always got this smile on your face, yeah, bro. Man, to be able to, to go and rhyme in front of people and, yeah. and, and do something that I dreamed about and or to go to a, a, a movie set and be, become this character and work through the scenes that's yeah. like some of the best man that's some of the most fulfilling moments i have in my life and then to go to a prison and and meet people and learn from them and men and women it's like it's a full it's a f round circle of just life for me right and i really appreciate all those things so the responsibility i i i cherish it and yeah, I value it. Yeah. Uh, in 2015, you along with John Legend won an Oscar. I think I was, man, I think I was the loudest cheer in the house when you guys <laughs> were there. Best original song, Glory, from the Selma Motion Picture soundtrack. Uh, what was the vibe working with John and putting that that, that project together for, for uh, the Motion Picture soundtrack from Selma? I, I, felt, I felt it was like a divine order for us. We yeah. both were in divine order in a way. John is already somebody, I, a friend of mine that I I love. I worked with him before. We had did several songs, but right. this was simply like me listening to the creator and listening to that intuition and saying, "Call up John about this," and uh, <laughs> and we just got to it. And he was the right energy, right spirit. He created uh, some beautiful music to it and sung the chorus that was just magnificent. Yeah, and that just the combination of us um, really just out there wanting to express what we felt about the civil rights movement, yeah, about yeah. the film right, Selma and right, the people who yeah. had done the work and what we felt about what was going on in the world in, at that time. At that time, yeah, yeah. yeah. So all that kind of channeled through and to God be the glory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, the new project from Common Let Love it drops in the stores uh, August 30th or wherever you get your music from. Of all the things that you've accomplished, everything that you've you've done, all the accolades, the accolades that people will lay on you, what is the, what is one of the things that you are most proud of where you can look and say, yeah, you know what? I did that, and I put a mark on the world. I mean, it would definitely be um, glory um, and being a part of Selma yeah. because that was one moment where you know it's bigger than you. Right. Like, you know it's, it means more than you. Like, it wasn't, we weren't on stage just like, yo, we did, we did this. We the stars. <laughs> it was more like we just was up there saying... Man, this thing's going on in the world. We yeah. gotta, we yeah. gotta fight for this, yeah. and we gotta overcome these things. So, and to be at the Oscars is that's you know the highest level of of accolades in, in what, the world. What is that like, brother? You know, you're on the red carpet. You're with all these accomplished actors and actresses and directors, and and there you are, baby, right in the middle of them. Man, I was know? just, I was just happy. I was staying present. I was happy to have my mother. Right oh, there definitely. with me, yeah, you know, yeah, like her yeah. experience these things because she, she's the one who, from the beginning, gave me like the foundation, gave me the love, gave me the opportunities to go to a decent school. She okay. worked hard, yeah, and to have her like in those to moments, see all that. yeah, to see that right, and to be right. dressed up, she on the red carpet, <laughs> and 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 I took in everything myself too, just looking around, thinking sometimes like. Man, I came from the South Side. <laughs> Over there by Maywood. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm on the South Side. And uh, now I'm here, like, on the Oscar stage. Right, you know what I mean, right. I just got to give thanks and, and, and make sure I keep using that platform oh, for yeah. better. Yeah. To make others better. That's just a blessing, man. That is yeah. a true blessing. Yeah. Uh, one more thing about Selma. The one thing I noticed, a lot of comments about the motion picture Selma, they said that they were pleased that Selma did not include the assassination the assassina assassination of, of Dr. King. What, it, did they play around with that or did they discuss that or how they wanted to do that or was that? No, they... they um, we just knew that that wasn't the story that Ava wanted to tell. Ava right. didn't want to tell that story. Um, 
She just was telling about the life of a man and people who really experienced like things on a higher level and worked hard and strategized and, yeah. and some did die yeah. for us to be able to to be here and do the things we're doing to vote. And um, I think she just wanted to highlight and show the human being of Dr. King right, also. Right, right. Um, and, I, and she did an incredible she did job. She, incredible. She's like definitely one of, the, obviously one of the greatest um, voices and visionaries we have in this yeah, day and age. Yeah, yeah. She's created the 13th and then the go on and do when they see us and all, all the all the above. Right. She, you know, eight, um, she just magnificent. So she yeah. brought that vision. Yeah. So there's one question I got to ask you, because if I don't ask this question, our receptionist won't let me leave tonight. <laughs> okay. So she said, I'm not going, I'm not going to say her name, but you met her. She says, if you need a wife, if you need a girlfriend, do you need a side chick to the girlfriend, or you just need somebody to watch Netflix with? <laughs> she's your, <laughs> she's your girl. All, the, all four of those. Like, if I need a wife, a girlfriend, no, wait, wait. wife, girlfriend, girlfriend side, side chick, chick to the girlfriend, or somebody to watch Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> she, she, she will, she will fulfill all those roles. She said, oh, either one, whatever one she fit in. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good, but I. I love her. She seemed like a really great person. So. <laughs> okay. Right. One more thing. So, Gail, when I say common, you say what? Oh, that's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it, Gail. Do you ever get used to that, man, when you walk into a room and all the ladies just, <sighs> nah, I don't, I don't get used to that. I mean, I'm, I say, I'm, I appreciate that. I'm right. like, what? It's okay. <laughs> me, Yo, okay y'all don't give me some love like that. I'm cool. I'm with it. Okay, boss. Ladies over there pointing at the clock, so I got to get you out of here, man. Yeah. But uh, I so much appreciate you coming down. Yeah. Uh, Common tonight, Let Love Tour, Newport Hyatt Regency special guest, the cold bus tonight is like like my brother said, you got you got to be there. Yeah, you, you got to come for the experience. But thank you for having me, man. It's been a oh, great it's time my pleasure, talking with man. you. Yeah. Thank you for coming down and dealing with LA traffic and all that <laughs> other crazy stuff. <laughs> so we gonna get out of here with uh, one of my favorite cuts, and you know what it is, right? But the light. Yeah, baby. Yeah. This is common on 102.3 Radio Free, KJLH. Uh, Many uh, blessings, my brother. Many blessings.